why do we tag sharks? The thing about white sharks is they're very wary animals. White sharks are abundant in certain locations because that's where the food is centered, like the Farallon Islands, like Año Nuevo Island. Although a few of them are there year round, they are most probably going to be there in the fall and most probably going to be attacking seals and sea lions. Remember after the film Jaws, people wanted to kill every shark. You're more likely to have a vending machine fall on you than you are to get attacked by sharks. I wanted to be a voice for these very misunderstood creatures. People tend to be scared of things that they don't understand. Roundabout was a great petri dish for studying sharks in the 1980s. I had a graduate student that worked on tagging sharks, but he tested them all in the roundabout before he released them into the ocean. Originally, the tags that were available were uh, spaghetti tags, just a piece of plastic with a number on it. So we went from these tags, we went to the dorsal fin as a photo marker. So you take a picture of the dorsal fin, it's distinct. And so we have records that go beyond 20 years. We have a huge catalog now of all the individuals. The third kind of tag is called a satellite tag. It's constantly recording information while it's on the shark. And when it pops off, flows to the surface, and then transmits the data, and you can get that whole record of that shark's diving and it's transversing of where it goes. The other kind of tag is called an acoustic tag. It's like your fast track. It registers every time a shark with a specific tag swims by a receiver is recorded if it has a tag on it. Stomach tags is another one. You have to feed it to the shark. Then it records the shark's temperature in its stomach. So it has to get past the jaws twice. <laughs> and sometimes they do bite it and crush it and then it doesn't work at all. But when you do get the information, what people are hoping to find is feeding events. And the idea is that when the shark feeds on a seal or something like that, you're gonna see a temperature change in the stomach. By putting tags on them, you can actually take these different transects of what the shark's doing in different parts of its life. The biggest thing that we learned in the beginning was that we were seeing the same sharks in the same place, the same time of year. That was a big wow. Then we found out that they had this migration that took them away offshore. Halfway between Baja and Hawaii, there's an area we call the cafe, and that's where they were going. And so that just blew everybody's mind. It expanded the niche of the white shark. Shark tagging helps scientists monitor where sharks are traveling. It helps them see where they're congregating, which is especially helpful when we're trying to set up marine protected areas. Sharks, especially great white sharks, they are at the top of the food chain in the ocean. They keep the entire ecosystem in balance and they are a good indicator of how healthy marine ecosystems are. The more we know about these animals' behavior, then the lower the risk, both to humans and to the animals.